Breed re-emerged in 2004 with a new deal through Urban Music Zone Entertainment, a subsidiary label of Psychopathic Records, to release his album The New Prescription. The album was released in August of that year with national distribution through Red Distribution slash Sony, and featured Esham, who was signed to Psychopathic Records at the time. The album didn't receive much promotion, but a music video was made for the album's only single, Rap Game. On May 11, 2006, Breed was sentenced to one year in prison for violating probation in failure to pay over $200,000 in child support. On April 3, 2008, Breed was arrested in Flint, Michigan following an in-store autograph signing session on warrants for about $220,000 in unpaid child support. On September 5, 2008 the rapper was hospitalized and placed on life support after he collapsed when his kidneys failed during a game of pickup basketball. On November 22, 2008, Breed reportedly died in his sleep while at a friend's home in Ypsilanti, Michigan. Before his sudden passing, Breed was preparing to release a DVD documentary about his life titled, Where is MC Breed? He was also working on a new album, titled The Original Breed, Swag Heavy, which was intended to be released through his former label, Ikaban Records. Although the project was still in development, Breed had reached out to many of his friends to help create the album, such as producers Erotic D, Ant Banks, Jazfa, Sanji Mickey, and Colin Wolfe, as well as rappers The DOC, Spice One, and Too Short. Breed stated the album was half finished in September 2008 when he was released from the hospital after being on life support for two days. According to MLib.com, Breed had recorded his last song two days before his death. It's called Every Day I Wait and features Outlaws. <laughs>